Hey guys, for today's video we're going to be doing a book review but also a kind of update at the same time. Not quite sure how to... I'm being gross and itching my ear. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to name this video because I'm going to be talking about a book that I recently read that was amazing but also updating you on the same topic. So basically if you've been here for a while a couple months ago maybe maybe it was last year I don't know when it was I started to read about and sort of like dip a toe into mindfulness practice I seen a lot about it and I just heard about it a lot and then I found some books and I started reading and I got more and more into it I wouldn't say I practice mindfulness every day because it's not something that you can just be like oh now I do this it just doesn't work that way sort of it went from dipping a toe to maybe a foot is in it now so yeah I bought a couple of books I think I hauled them and I wanted to talk about one of them in particular that I have not recently finished I finished it in the summer oh, it's something in my eye the book that we're going to be talking about is this one this is called mindfulness for life a six week guide to inner peace by Ollie Doyle I bought this from the works, I think it was on sale, like £2, £3 maybe, I don't know, the works does some really good offers on books. And I bought this just because I like the idea that it being a six week guide and the way that it's set out is really simple and really easy to understand. So it goes from week to week but then inside each week is a day. So we've got week one and it goes on and on and then it says day one and then you will do that practice for that day and then day two day three day four so originally i started reading this and i read a page a day but then i just got too into it that i wanted to read it all in one go so i did just end up doing that i did originally start highlighting certain passages and certain sentences that i found really helpful and insightful and then my highlighters ran out so the rest of it is not highlighted but it has been read I just ran out of highlighters again I've used two packs so far I think I have an issue with highlighters the thing like I said the thing that I liked most about this was how it was separated out into separate days so the other books that I've got are all just about mindfulness practice and about this and about that whereas this gave you practical things to do every single day for six weeks and if I can find like let's find to the end of a day and I will show you so at the end of each day you have this little thing here that's, that is your activity and every day you have to do that one activity just once the whole day so this one was spend five to twenty minutes doing an activity just for its own sake with no concern of what it may lead to or what it says about you if you are like me and just like dipping toes into mindfulness then this book is really good at explaining how it works how to do it how best to do it and I also really like an awful lot how it talks about how many times you will fail at doing it because sometimes I read things on mindfulness and I'm like oh, oh but I can't do that there's no way I just my brain doesn't work that way and this book recognizes that your brain is hardwired to work the opposite of what mindfulness is supposed to do <coughs> and I like it I like that it's like don't worry if you can't do this or don't worry if you slip or you can't manage it or things like that it's just the way our brain is hardwired to always think of what's coming next to always find the negative in every situation to always plan and think ahead and it's just hardwired into our mind to do that we're not used to as human people <laughs> of just being here and now and in this second and in this moment it's just the brain doesn't work that way so with mindfulness you're teaching your brain to think a different way than it's so used to that's the accepted way for your brain to think you are trying to do the opposite of that and this book really helps you to sort of get to that point some days the activities are to just sit and breathe for five minutes and just be present and in the moment and like I said I can't say that I practice it every single second of every single day because that requires having to remember to do it and that's what I find the most difficult. What this has helped with is certain situations obviously we're not really going to talk about anxiety because 
I'm not in the frame of mind to talk to you about that right now. That will be for another time. But simple things of just being present in the moment. We went camping in July for my birthday and I spent a lot of that time just appreciating what was happening right there. Normally my brain will go, oh well this is nice, or what should we do now? What time is it? What do we need to do? Where do we need to go? And it, it's, that's how my brain would normally work, that's how most brains work. Nobody is really capable of being present in that moment. Reading this meant that I could stand on top of a mountain and be like, wow, this is incredible. It's like a really weird noise. I don't know what that was. It allowed me to stand there and be like, wow, I can appreciate what I'm seeing. I can look at things that I would never have noticed before. I was able to open my mind to things that I would not normally see. As I was saying, trees are different colours. And I know that sounds like a really stupid thing to say, but if you actually take the time to look, it's like, wow, who knew there was this many shades of green? Because I didn't know. Well, I did, but I wouldn't have noticed that normally. And it's just being able to be present in that moment at that time was incredibly freeing, I suppose is the word. And I do feel like getting to that point of being able to just them certain moments that happen, being able to step into that moment is down to reading this book. It is just so helpful in helping you understand how mindfulness works without all of like the jargon of oh on this, on this, on this and you read it and think well, I don't know what they're talking about. This is written in such a way that you can read it and just intake the information and retain the information because it's written so simply but so complex at the same time like the way it is written is easy and simple to read but what is written is complex to understand mentally rather than actually being able to read it. Hi Chuck. But that is why I like this. I'm not sure where else you can get this. I'm assuming probably Amazon or eBay. I know that they still have it in stock in the works. I would highly recommend going to buy it if you're interested in mindfulness. And I said, I don't want to touch on it too much, but if you're in my situation for anxiety wise, then this has really been helping me. I will do an anxiety update at some point, but at the moment it's just too much to talk about for me. I, you know, if you have it, you know, sometimes you just have flare ups of things. So. I can't talk about it right now but I will eventually do an update on it and I will talk more about how mindfulness has been helping me with it but for now just in general life this book is helping me get through every day and appreciate every day a lot more it's not like a ugh now I need to do this or ugh now I need to do this it's just doing it and just doing it at that point and not thinking about what's going to happen after or what's going to happen during or just getting stuff done. Very quick, it's not really a review but it is at the same time. I don't know how what... Now my mum's calling. Hello! Hiya. I'm like moving along this bed as I lose the sun so I'm sorry for the crazy lighting right now. No idea where I was up to now. I've been on the phone for like half an hour. I think I was saying this is a really good book completely lost my train of thought so I'm just going to end this video now and hope that I wasn't like in the middle of a sentence or something when my mum called because I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the end. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you thumbs up and that you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!